I'm Ms. Artastic and in this episode we're going to be talking about some summer art ideas for you for your classroom. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. Alright, idea number one is to do an artwork called Places I've Been. So what I like to do is I like to get kids to take off their shoes and trace their foot. Look at my dirty socks. Trace your foot. I'm in my art studio. Why my socks are dirty. Um, trace your foot and um, on a piece of paper. And then I like to draw, have them draw a nice design of a frame around it. And then inside, um, they can draw um, places they've been through the summer. So places I've been, and that could be like. Um, if you've watched a movie, like, oh, they can illustrate, like, a movie they've watched, like, the, um, you know, like, I've, a different way to have a, an experienced place, but not an actual visited, right? Um, um, maybe, maybe they, like, went to a park or a walk, whatever it is that they've done, they can illustrate different places they've been, um, through the summer, um, through the artwork, and that could be on the inside of the foot. So, on the inside of the foot, they illustrate where they've been. And then around it, they can draw a frame and do a cool illustration as a way to experience like places I've been this summer and like the where they have traveled with on their feet, right? Um, and then that could be like again, um, like actually have done, like actually visited or like um, like experience, right? Because some kids don't get to go to places in the summer, so I think that's just a cool way to do it. Um, anyways. I also have this as a free art lesson in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, so you can check it out. I'll link to it in the description below the video, but if you want to grab it, it is a free resource that you can check out and grab for that lesson, and it'll be linked to in the description of this video. Alright, number two is you can create a summer scavenger hunt. So you can do a scavenger hunt, um, take your paper um, on each half. Um, for older students, you can put like a prompt of things they need to find or do it as a quarter page with four prompts and then do double sided for your um, younger students um, and then have things that they need to find and draw. So like find and draw a flower petal or find and draw a sunglasses, right? So I'm doing some still life observational drawings with choice art mediums but as a summer art scavenger hunt. They have to go find it. Woo! So fun, right? Alright, my comment or question for you today, and I would like you to answer in the comment section below the video, is what is your favorite summer art activity or what are you looking for as a resource for summer? Please let me know in the comment section below the video and I will do my best to answer you personally. There's no one else going to answer you, it's just me that does all this. So, <laughs> there is no one else. It will be me, um, but I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, number three is summer craft and write. So you can do a summer themed craft with your students. And then, um, so it could be like tropical fish, or maybe a palm tree, or like a sun, or something like a summer flower. Um, whatever you want, you can do like a summer themed craft with your students. And then try to think about ways to add, integrate art into it. So I like to do um, a pick a pattern page where they pick a pattern and then they draw on their pieces of their craft. There are different patterns in like wax crayon or oil pastel and then paint over it with watercolor paints to do some like um, wax resist effects and exploring line and pattern. And then they can assemble it and then it's a write. So now they got to do a writing inspired by their craft that is either a non-fiction write or a fiction writing prompt and then that way you can do art and literacy integrated learning um, and it's going to be more engaging for both the, the writing because they're going to be doing it inspired by the craft, right? So if they, ha they have something to that's an inspirational source for their writing. Um, now if you're looking for a fully planned summer craft and write, you can check out my link to in the description of this video. It has all the templates made so you can just cut and go and pick their different pieces that they like. It also has all the step-by-step -step pages and slideshow that included as well as it has all your pick a, part, pick a pattern pa page um, and also your rubric and assessments and also the writing planning pages and writing pages for nonfiction and fiction and at two different levels to differentiate for your classroom um, and grades. So if you want to check it out, you can click it in the description below the video. 
Number four is to do summer themed art projects. So you can create different artworks inspired by different summer things. So you can do maybe landscapes of a beach or a lake. Maybe you want to do a camping themed artwork with your students. Maybe you want to do some pineapples. Those are always fun. I love doing pineapples for summer, especially like soft pastel or like watercolor paint pineapples. Um, you can do cactuses or cacti. Also are really fun in both um, soft pastel or watercolor paint. So cute. Um, you can do, um, just off the top of my head, some tropical fish or like things that you might find in the ocean. Um, you can do um, flowers you might see in summer. So just different things that are to do with summer. Now, if you're looking for a variety of summer themed art projects, I do have some and I will link to my summer art projects uh, in the description of this video so you can check it out, all my different summer art projects. Um, now, if you're looking for more art projects, if you're an art teacher and you're wanting um, art, art, art projects or a membership that's gonna provide you art projects for the year, make sure you check out the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. It is my curriculum that provides you with uh, bundles of new art lessons every single month so that way you can teach the elements of art and principles of design, you can teach different themes, you can teach um, ceramics and sculpture and sketchbooks and have all the resources you need to be successful. Plus it includes my art teacher growth course to help you plan your year using my resources and also help you with things like fast finishers and social emotional learning and growth mindset and um, classroom management. And then also it will also provide you with all the templates to do that and plan your year. And it also includes a community form so you can chat with me anytime, anywhere. All right, my friend, if you want to check out the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum, know that it opens very soon. It's opening in the very beginning of August, and it's very important that you get on the wait list right now. Um, you can scan the QR code on the screen, or you can find the link to the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum in the description below the video, or simply Google Artastic Collective Art Curriculum to find it. And you can get on the wait list. If you click the membership button, you can get on the wait list, and I will email you when it opens. Um, um, but know that it's going to open this coming August. I'm so excited. There is limited space. So make sure you get on the wait list and get ready for when it opens because I only open for five short days. And once I close in a moment, you cannot get in. So make sure you check it out and get ready to enroll. Um, and I will make sure I have that link in the description below the video. Remember, it's coming soon. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you in the membership. Now, for... Um, sorry, your next video to watch is Fast Finishers in Your Classroom. Um, you can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of this video. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. That will really help me out in growing this channel and allow me to continue to create these videos for you. And I'll see you in the next episode.